Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos product review. Today we have the Blue Eddy SP120 120 watt solar panel. It is a folding portable unit made by Blue Eddy, and it uses high quality sun power cells. But is it any good? Let's find out. I want to warn you in advance, I used this thing out in the desert for a month. So it is filthy, and I really didn't feel like hosing it off and then getting everything wet for this video. So you're just going to have to deal with a dirty solar panel. This is going to give you a good idea, though, how it held up after being a month in the dirt. And this thing got knocked over probably six or seven times from the wind. So we'll take a closer look at it and see how it fared after a month of use and abuse by Professor Hobo. One of the things I've been testing out here in the field is the Blue Eddy 120 watt solar panel, and it has been working fantastic to help charge my house batteries. So I have that coming in to this Renogy 20 amp. So I know from using a multimeter that this last nut on the bottom there is actually going to my house batteries. So this is the alternator, this is the house batteries, and that's the starter battery. And as soon as I connect it to it, it's now going to go ahead and pump 13.6 volts into my house batteries. Now I could just move this to this nut if I want to charge a starter battery, but I wanted to just do it directly so I had it on the clamps there. And of course, to negative, you can just ground to anything on your vehicle. The solar on my roof stopped working. I have uh, an old controller in there, which about the first weekend of this trip, it failed. It's no longer charging my batteries. So my roof solar panels this entire trip pretty much have been doing nothing. So that's why I had to set out some external panels and I'm using the Jackery to supplement my power. So I did use this Blue Eddy panel quite a bit while I was out in the desert. I was out camping in my road truck and the solar on the roof stopped working. So I had to actually improvise while I was on site. Fortunately, I had brought a bunch of solar panels with me to lay on the ground and do some testing and so forth. So I ended up actually using the Blue Eddy 120 watt panel the entire trip. That's why it got so dirty and so beat up because it was out on the ground every day. Rain, shine, or wind. And we had all those factors. And it worked flawlessly. I usually got somewhere between 90 and 100 watts pretty much all the time. So it really did perform and it helped me enjoy my trip in my van. All right, let's take a closer look at the Blue Eddy solar panel. Okay, first things first, and like I said, this thing has been scuffed up pretty good. It's just dirt. There's actually no rips or tears after using it out in the desert for a month. The way these clasps work is that you just have to push this button here and it unleashes the clasp. I didn't really figure that out at first. And then that opens it up. You can see we got perfectly fine cells here. Now these are the coated ones. They're ribbed for your pleasure. See, there's still some dirt in here, but as you can see, the panels themselves actually fared perfectly fine. They didn't get damaged in any way, shape, or form. Even though this thing face planted at least a half dozen times on the rocks and the dirt. Blue Eddy did include grommets on the end here, so you can hang this from a vehicle or a tree or whatever you want to do. And each panel does have its own Velcro leg that Velcros to the back of the panel. So like I said, each one has Velcro legs on it. And you have a rubberized handle. You have the Blue Eddy logo there. You can see this dirt's just wiping off for the most part. Won't be using these gloves again. And for those interested, here are the technical specifications. You can see this does have a VOC of 23.7 volts, so it's nice and high, good for charging pretty much any power station out there. So inside this double zippered pouch is the best part about the Blue Eddy solar panel. First, it comes with a really long cable, and this cable is approximately three meters or about nine feet long. You see this module right here? No silly USB ports. So this is actually water resistant because you don't have to worry about dirt and water getting into the useless USB ports. So no USB on this. But what it does come with from the factory 
our MC4 connectors and a nice heavy gauge cable. This thing is ready to be put in series. It's ready to be put in parallel. This is actually designed to be put many of them in series and many of them in parallel for all the different Blue ID power stations that are available. This makes it compatible with every power station out there as long as it comes with its own MC4 adapter. So this being the most standard connector in 2021 to hook up your solar panels and they are weather resistant. So you can plug them in and not worry about water getting inside and ruining the connection. But like I said, nice heavy duty cable that's about nine feet long. So as you can see, that's all there is to it. It's got four little 30 watt panels and the legs are Velcro. So when you go to put it away, I'll show you how quickly it is. Now, I always get this wrong because I know this one has to go on the outside. <laughs> so just like that, and you can go ahead and set the clasps and you're ready to go. You can see there, that's the current angle of the panels where we're taking our measurement. And the sun's up there, probably about 50 degrees, 55 degrees in the sky. Pretty clear today, not too bad when it comes to the haze. You can see I've only had this solar panel out for about 10 minutes. It's already up to almost 130 degrees Fahrenheit on these surfaces. So that is certainly not helping the output right now. Hey, you can see we're getting 86, 87 watts off the bench test here. Oh, we hit 90 there. 89, yep, we're rounding up, we're 90. All right, well, that's, that's pretty decent. 90 watts out of 120 on a day where the solar panels are 120 degrees, that's not bad. And we have the EB150 hooked up, the 1500 watt Blue Eddy. And we're getting a respectable mid 90s watts. So 93 right now. It was 97, 98 a few minutes ago. 95, 96. So there you have it. Upper 90s wattage from the Blue Eddy 120 watt panel. And this panel is made with sun power cells. So it's pretty much top quality. It's the same kind of cells that Jackery uses. Okay, here we have the Jackery Solar Saga 100 watt solar panel. And in comparison, we are getting, you can see from the Jackery panel, we got 69 watts. Now what's great about the Blue Eddy 120 watt panel is the fact that it's cheaper than the Jackery panel, more powerful than the Jackery panel. And the best part is, no crazy USB ports. This comes out of the box from the factory with MC4 connectors on it. No wonky adapters or worrying about compatibility with other power stations. As long as you have MC4 connectors, you're good to go. And almost every power station nowadays, except for Jackery, comes with an MC4 adapter. So you should be set to go right out of the box. That also makes these very easy to put in series and very easy to put in parallel, again, unlike the Jackery panels. So if you're interested in the Blue Eddy SP120 120 watt solar panel, there is a link in the description below, along with a Hobotech exclusive $100 off promo code. That's only gonna be available on the Blue Eddy website. So buy from Blue Eddy Direct, save some tax, get 100 bucks off. And if you insist on supporting Jeff Bezos, the millionaire, there is a link to the Amazon page below in the description as well. And I do believe there is some kind of promotion on Amazon going on right now. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. I do also want to mention on Blue Eddy's website, they do have specials that combine certain solar generators with a certain number of these panels. For example, an EB150 1500 watt power station might have a bundle with two of these solar panels. The uh, AC200P might have a bundle with three of these solar panels. So I'll have links in the description for all this and you can see these specials on the Blue Eddy website. Bada bing, bada bing. RV Golf Guy, Don Fulma, Drew Hong, and Medicare Repair, Andrew.